to see all of you here. This is a really special opportunity for us. So thank you, and um, we're gonna get on with the program. It has been so wonderful for educators to be invited to the Adobe campus here in downtown San Jose today. I think it's really exciting how Adobe keeps digging in to the heart of creativity, and it doesn't allow it just to be focused just on creative expression, but really about how we can continue to support learners to be more creative problem solvers. Well, I love the fact that they're doing the research, figuring out what's working, what's not working, and then bringing that to light, and then having stuff like today where we come over and we're able to ask the hard questions. I realized how powerful my students were, and if I gave them the opportunity to do a lot of what I was struggling to do, that it would get done faster and also they would be empowered. One of the most important things that I'm walking away from is just an understanding of the importance of industry and education working together. We are all here to support students, which then in turn supports the future. I got a lot of really great nuggets today, but the best one I think is about when we think about the future of our kids is what are the type of, of skills that they need. And the biggest one, uh, which is one that I don't think that we do a really good job in education, it's to teach them how to tell a story. What I'm asked to do now and what I've been asked to do throughout my career is to take the data and actually tell a story around it and be able to convince people of, of a point of view. If you can't tell kind of a compelling story around that data, it, it, it's tough to move anything forward. Any talent that we bring in, I've, I've kind of bucketed in three categories. I have skill, we have knowledge, and we have mindset. Just hone in on the mindset, because the skills and the knowledge, you can teach. Adobe Spark wowed me with how usable it is, how intuitive it is. I got so excited about Rush. It's an amazing tool that I can actually expand so my students can actually get so excited about learning. And I, I get so excited when I see my students excited. What they produce looks professional. And so when they look professional, they feel proud of themselves. They're already creative, but how do we actually make their creativity more visible to themselves and to others? Being able to talk to professionals and hear a panel of experts talk about some of the skills that are really important for students to have now. It helps invigorate educators to make sure that we're incorporating those things in our daily practice.